This is an interview with Gaitlin Gunderson on what it's like to be a wrestler in the growing sport of women's wrestling. Hello, Caitlin. What was that? Glad you could come in for the interview today. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So I'm going to ask you a few questions. Yeah. Um, it's going to be very easy. Yeah. So in high school, uh -huh. did, when did you start wrestling? Um, I started wrestling my freshman year. Uh, that was my first official year of wrestling. Um, there was a couple times where in eighth grade I went to your wrestling practice and uh, wrestled with you, but that's when I really found the love for the sport because like I've always watched you do it and I was like, huh, well if my younger brother can do it, so can I. So that's when I officially um, quit basketball because I sucked at it and I joined the wrestling team. All right. So in high school, you were in a both gender sport, right? Yeah. Primar prim primarily boys sport. What was it like wrestling with boys? Honestly, there was a lot of challenges because um, the guys have a lot more muscle than I do, so even at the weight that I was at. Um, it's just how we develop. Um, I think it was hard at times because boys didn't always want to wrestle me, so I had some forfeits. and. Uh, so it was a challenge, but I think wrestling guys actually made me stronger because now wrestling a female uh, versus like comparing it to a guy, I have a lot more um, technique and I can use more muscle. So wrestling in that um, primarily male sports, did you get any haters or people that said stop now you're in a guy sport why are you doing a guy sport so kind of those kind of things um i have there was a couple times uh where people would make comments like you do this for the guys and um and i would just it hurt but then i was just like well i know to myself like i don't do this for the guys i do this because i love this sport uh yeah, there was times where a father like screamed at his son after he lost me, um, saying like you lost to a girl and like I can't believe you lost to a girl and like things like that kind of hurt. But you're just like you lost to a girl, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, I know many a times when you wrestled private Christian schools that they mm -hmm. would not even wrestle you, they'd forfeit right away. Yeah, and the first time that happened was very challenging because I didn't like I didn't comprehend what was happening. I thought it was just because I was a female and he didn't believe that he should wrestle me, but in a way it was a spiritual um, belief. Okay. Mm -hmm. So heading into college, how did wrestling affect your school choice? Um, so there was a couple other schools talking to me, just texting me, saying, uh, Facebook messaging me, stuff like that. Um, but I always knew that I wanted to stay in Wisconsin. Um, Pat Kilty sent me a, um, a private message saying, hey, something's coming out that we might potentially have a women's wrestling team in Wisconsin. And it just happened to be the year um, that I would be a freshman in college. Um, so I started looking into the college. I fell in love with the tight knit um, community that they have there. And um, so Lakeland was my only choice, but it's a choice that I wouldn't back down on. What, wrestling at Lakeland, um, what has that been like? Um, it's been challenging because we don't always have all the girls to fill the spot, but um, we still work with each other and uh, try to create um, it as best as we can. I got very lucky this year um, getting to wrestle with someone who was the exact same weight than me, um, but there was times where I wrestle up and wrestle other girls, and that would be challenging, but it's just what we had to do to make sure everyone had a partner. So it sounds like your collegiate wrestling career has been almost like your high school wrestling career because you're in this developing program mm -hmm. and um, you're trying to uh, work to make either Lakeland or um, your high school program more established. Mm -hmm. um, how has your high school program um, allowed you to um, 
excel your college program and yeah um so i think with each one of us like i came into a um from a team that wasn't it was established but it was a newer program so i knew exactly what i was walking into when i walked into lakeland um i think i started it uh started my freshman year was the second year that the program has come back it might have been the third don't quote me but um and then I walked into a program that was brand new. I think that helped um, having someone on the side that has already gone through it. Um, I could make comments and say, hey, what about this? Or what about that? Um, the other girls, um, I think, struggled at times, like trying to figure out what, like they come from an established team. They were like, well, this is how it was back home. Um, so we all came together and we um, talked about like what we want for a team and um, we've worked from there. So we started our points and we tried to make sure we met every single point to make everyone happy. Has your leadership in your high school kind of still allowed you to have some leadership skills in, oh, yeah, a lot in collegiate sports right now? Yeah, definitely. So um, there was times where Maddie didn't know how to address something. So like I was like, oh, what about this? Or, you know, like we worked together. All of us um, helped each other. And um, it wasn't that like one person always had to say. If I had an idea, I would throw it out there. If Jaden had an idea, she would throw it out there. We really worked together as a team and a family to make sure that um, we can establish a great team. So um, that transition from mm -hmm. high school to collegiate wrestling, um, has it been a struggle? So I think um, a struggle that I've had was um, not understanding, well in high school, I didn't lose too many girls unless they were high end, like top at Fargo. Um, so walking in to a place where I'm wrestling some of the best of the nation, a senior level, that was a little challenging. I didn't expect that. Um, especially coming back from an injury, I thought I had it all figured out that this year I was going to be on the podium. but. Um, it didn't turn out that way, and um, I think um, that's one of my accomplishments is that I can um, keep working, and that I believe that next year will be my year, and that um, I will remember this the pain, well, not the pain, but like how I felt when I lost, and I won't let that happen again. So you mentioned the injury. Mm -hmm. uh, what was that injury, and has it? Um, fueled your drive uh, in your wrestling career? Yeah, so I tore my ACL um, April 13th, ACL and LCL April 13th of 2018. Um, 18, I had a surgery on May 4th of that same year. Um, it was happened during a wrestling practice. Um, I just, I, um, the kid took a shot, I bent the wrong way, my knee popped, and yeah. Um, but from that, I continued to do everything that I could, even with I having so many setbacks during that um, injury time. I uh, ha was allergic to the sutures that they put in, so we had to take those out. Um, so I had my uh, my scar had to naturally heal, heal with nothing in it. Um, it got infected a couple times. Um, my quad wouldn't fire. Um, things like that, um, but it never stopped me to getting back to where I wanted to be. And this year, my first match of the year, I actually wrestled and I won that match. And it was the best feeling I could have ever had. It was better than probably winning um, a national title because I knew that I came back from something that brought me way back. So... As a woman in women's wrestling, what is your goal for the sport itself? I think I want to be a symbol of uh, that girls can do this, that girls can push themselves, and like that uh, sexist barrier can be like um, just demolished uh, because women are equally as <laughs> strong in a way um, that we can just come together and create something that's going to be amazing. I know, I hope, my hope is um, someday that we can create a program that is like the guys. And I think we are heading in the right direction, but if I can continue to just push that into the correct direction, I think that that would be an amazing goal of mine.
So who inspires you as a wrestler? Um, there's two people that inspire me. Um, Helen Marulis, that is always going to be my top idol. She is amazing. I actually got the chance to wrestle with her one time, and I think I almost passed out because I was just so amazed of just how talent, uh, talented she was. Um, and then the second person that inspires me is my brother, Zach, you know, as a wrestler because I just see his grit and where he wants to go in life and in wrestling and it's just amazing because I wish I could have that same and but I'm, I'm working there I'll get there so back to that goal of the sport itself yeah um, what would be a per perfect future in the world of women's wrestling I think a perfect um, perfect like picture that we could get is having equality through the sport um, and not having people who hate on it because um, there's always going to be something new and it's at first it's going to be scary and people aren't going to understand it but if we continue to um, teach people and um, educate them on how this can be something amazing and great um, I think that will bring um, people's perspective in a new way and I think that um, by educating people we will will create a great sport of women's wrestling. Alright, so to wrap things up, for girls who say they won't wrestle because that's a guy sport or they're scared to do it for whatever reason, what would you say to them? I would say just try it. Um, you never know uh, what to expect until you go out there and try it. The sport isn't scary itself. Um, wrestling guys isn't scary. Uh, I thought that at first and in my first week of wrestling my whole mindset changed. Um, it just came back to I can do this. Many people believe in you, I believe in you, and I think that you should go out and try it. Just one practice, one week. Make that goal and I believe that you'll love the sport like I do.